In this episode, I'm going to be showcasing the part of GitHub integration for Microsoft Fabric. So whether you're managing notebooks, warehouses, reports, or semantic model, version control is essential for collaboration and automation. So I'm going to walk you through the process of moving your Fabric items to GitHub, ensuring structured, efficient data flows. So I'm going to encourage you to stick around to see how this setup can streamline your data ops and help you scale with confidence. Let's get started. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using all these items in my A to Z of warehouse workspace. For instance, I can see I've got this AZ warehouse, I've got two data flow gen tool, and I've got another warehouse, I've got notebook, report, semantic model, and another warehouse at the bottom. So I'm going to swipe to GitHub to create my repo where we're going to integrate our fabric items. So I'm going to come here and then I can click on this plus sign to create a new repository. Alternatively, I can click on my icon at the top right hand corner and click on your repository. So this is going to give me the option to create a new repository. So click on that and I'm going to call this one Fabric Repo. And I'm going to make this to be a private one, not public. And I'm going to initialize this repository with my readme file. So click on this. And then I can scroll to the bottom and click on create repository. So you can see this fabric repo is now up and running with our readme.md initialize file. So after we've done this, I'm going to come back here and then I can swipe to the workspace settings. And on the left hand side, I can see the Git integration. So click on that. Now we have two providers. We have the Azure DevOps and the GitHub. So for this demonstration, I'm going to be using the GitHub. So click on this, and then we need to connect our account in order to be able to perform our integration. So I'm going to click on add account, and I'm going to give this a name. I'm just call this one fabric integration, and we need to provide the personal access token in order to authenticate to GitHub and of course the repository URL. Now to get the PAT, I'm going to come back here and let me just duplicate this tab because I'm going to use this later in a moment. So come here and I'm going to click on my icon and then go to the settings. In the settings, I'm going to scroll down and then look for the developer settings. Click on that and then we can see where we can generate our personal access tokens. Click on this and we need the classic token. So click on that and then create a new token. Again, I'm going to choose generate new token classic. And then I can give this a name. I'm going to call this one my token. And then I can set the expiration date. So I'm, I'm just going to leave this at 30 days. So it is important to choose the scope defined for the access for the personal token. So I'm going to choose repo, which is really cool. And scroll to the bottom and then click on generate token. Now, this token can be saved in a secure environment like Azure, Key Vault. But for the demonstration, I'm just going to leave it like this and then copy this. I can come back here and I'm going to get rid of this and then paste the token. So we also need the repository URL. So that is easy to find. Just come back here and we can see this is my repo name. So just copy entire URL and then I can paste in it and click on add. So we can see successfully added account. So I can choose to save or not. So let me just save. And then we can see the name fabric integration and then we can see the repository URL. So once we've seen this, we can click on connect. And there we go. We are fully connected. So we have the option to log out from the Git provider, but we're not going to log out. Now for the connect Git repository and branch, I'm going to click on this drop down and I'm going to create a developer branch where I'm going to actually integrate my code before creating a pull request to the main branch. So I'm going to call this one dev. And this is going to be created from the main branch and then click on create. So this is now created. Now, another functionality I love here is the ability to create your folder in order to organize your items in the GitHub. So I'm going to create a folder called some fabric items. You can use whatever name you like and then click on connect and sync. So we're going to see create, connect and sync. So click on that. And then we can see you're connected to the Git repository. And then it's going to start syncing all the content from this workspace to the Git. So I'm going to wait for some couple of moments for all of this to turn to green. Now, some of these items are not supported. For example, we're going to see that the data flow gentle are not supported, but the Git supports the 
warehouse, including notebook, report, semantic model, and some few other objects. So once this is done, we can see this has been synced and so on and so forth. Now we can come back to the repository and then we can see that we've got five recent pushes to this dev environment and this actually came in about five seconds ago. That's cool. Now don't forget this is the main branch. So I'm going to click on this to just swipe to the dev environment. So I can click on this view all branches and I can see the dev branch so click on that and then we can see the fabric items so this is the folder we created in order to, to organize all our objects that has come into the github repository so we can see they just came about one minute ago cool now i'm going to expand so when i expand i can see i've got the name of the folder at the top and then we can see all the items like our az warehouse we can see the mirror wh warehouse and so on and so forth which is absolutely fantastic now let's just expand this and see the content now we can see the database owner table so when i click on this i can see all the list of tables i've got in that warehouse like dim account manager the sequence and so on and so forth i can just click on one of them to see the code so this is my code and i can swipe back to the intermediate um, step and i can move to the back as much as i like and i can just you know play around and check all of this out so i'm able to integrate my code into the git repository we can also you know check the notebook out click on this now for the platform we're going to see the metadata information like the name of the notebook as well as the type and if there's any description we're going to see them and including the version that's the version of the notebook so we can see everything here which is nice and easy so we're able to integrate it now i'm going to quickly come to this sharepoint list warehouse and in this case you know we can also see the extensible markup language in json that also contains a lot of metadata like the name compatibility level and so on and so forth so i want to come to the dot platform so again we can see all this metadata information about the warehouse so let me come to the table and in the table, I've got this sales demo.sql. So in this case, I've got this um, create table statement. So I'm going to quickly go back and create another table and let's see what happens. Now, before I create another table, let's first create a map into the main branch. So I'm going to click on the, sorry, pull request. So click on this pull request and then we can see we have all of this. So you can click on this compare and create a pull request. So we can see this is going to be taking all our codes from the dev branch into the main branch and we can add a nice title and we can add a description if we choose to. Now I've got this just a demonstration and this is going to go ahead and create the pull request and we can see that we have no conflict with base branch so I can click on merge pull requests and again I can just give this some commit name and some extended description and once i'm done click on confirm match and then just wait for some seconds and there we go so pull request successfully matched and closed now i can choose to delete this dev branch but i'm going to need it for some other developments so i'm not going to delete i can scroll to the top and then i can go back to the repo and then i can check the main branch so we can see there we go we have the fabric item folder deployed to the main branch and that's cool now let's come back here and then we want to go to the sharepoint list warehouse and then i just want to create a table and let's see how all of this pans out so i'm going to expand this database owner default expand and then i want to create a new sql query and let's just create a table so i'm going to go do some create table um, demo and uh, let's just create one column um, ID and use the integer data type and then we can terminate, select the code, run the code and this is now created and automatically you can see the table pops up in the table list here. Now I can go back to the workspace and it's going to automatically tell me that hey I've got a transformation and I'm going to go ahead and click on the source control and we have the changes so i'm going to select this and i can give this a meaningful name uh, and of course this is really important to give a nice name so i'm going to call this on table creation table creation and once i'm done with the name i can click on commit and this is going to be committed into our dev branch and then we can go to the github and then once we're happy with the development the changes we can create the pull request to match to the main branch so this is now sorted you can see you just selected blah blah it's not completed so i can come back here and i can go back 
yeah and so i'm going to swipe back to dev and when i swipe i'm going to see that there's a need for us to you know commit so we can see this branch is one commit ahead of one commit behind so that is the this is behind by one so i can click on this and when i click on that i can see the option to create a pull request now before creating a pull request we can also just check the code out at the bottom and once you're fine just create the pull request and we can just maintain this name we can give the description and once that is sorted i can create the pull request so let's see and uh, there shouldn't be any conflicts or things being equal create match pull request and create or click on confirm match so this has now been created now let's go quickly to the main branch i can just click on this and i can see that oh we have table creation as the name and i can expand uh, let me go to that specific warehouse sharepoint list warehouse um, i can expand the tables and there we go we have the dem.sql i can expand i can see the create table statements so this is basically how we can integrate our fabric items to github i hope you enjoyed this video if you do like comment share and follow me for more videos thank you for watching bye for now